So I finally got accepted into the Adobe Firefly beta program to try their new AI generating art. It's amazing. And with that said, my favorite AI art tool so far has been Leonardo AI. Nothing against Mid Journey, it's awesome, but I love the fact that Leonardo AI has a lot of prompts and models to kind of help you out and lead the way for you. Adobe Firefly seems to take things to the next level. Not only can you make some very beautiful AI art, but you can create some really amazing text effects, which I like. Similar to Leonardo AI, you can use everything within its own interface on its website, and then there's no need for an outside Discord server to generate these prompts. The other cool thing I really like about this is that it's going to provide you with different examples of prompts you can use. And if you're like me, where I'm a more visual learner, sometimes I need a good example or I need to look at an image to say, oh, that's what I want to create. The text effect generator is quite amazing. I can type in any sort of word or sentence I want, and then I can give it a brief prompt description and it will create the word or letter in that exact design. So I can do the same thing below. If I enter text, the letter E, and then I say the same thing over here, cheese popcorn, guess what? It's gonna provide me with the letter E, with the visual aesthetic of popcorn. So on the right hand side, you could see it has flowers, snake, driftwood. If I just simply select bread text, it's gonna change my popcorn E into a bread E. So look at that. I could do the same thing if I chose flowers. Now it generates one with flowers. But what I wanna do today is show you guys some very cool prompts using Adobe Firefly. Let's head on over to my trusty prompt generator that I have in Airtable. Now, there will be a link in my description to where you can access some of these prompts. So one easy prompt I'd like to use is that we're going to go to ChatGPT and the first prompt I asked it to do at the very top it says, I want you to act as a prompt generator for Adobe Firefly's artificial intelligence program. Your job is to provide detailed and creative descriptions that will inspire unique and interesting images from the AI. That's just a very cool generic prompt that you can ask ChatGPT to create for you and it's going to create more prompts to give to Adobe Firefly. So for example, it just provided me with these 10. Let's just go ahead and select number 10 down here. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this one. Head back over to Adobe Firefly. In order to generate this prompt on the bottom left hand side just paste in the search bar exactly what we just copied a cyberpunk metropolis and as it's generating you'll notice on the right hand side you have more options to choose from okay so that's one option let's try something else let's go back over to what chat gpt told us and we're gonna go with number one a mystical forest at night i'm gonna copy that one head right back over here and now i will paste this prompt and hit generate and then so far we can see what it created for me, a mystical forest at night with bioluminescent flowers and fireflies creating a surreal and dreamlike atmosphere. Not bad. And again, I could do the same thing by selecting different content types on the right hand side. And you can see just by simply selecting a different fine tuned model, that's what Leonardo calls theirs, but in this case it's going to be called content type. So then if I'm not satisfied with the ones ChatGPT gave me, I can just say give me 10 more and then it will generate 10 more. Or let's just try a uh, fairy tale forest. Copy, come back over to Adobe Firefly and paste it, hit search, and now you can see that my content type is deselected as art. And there it is for art. And then let's go to none and see what happens if I default to none. Okay, there we go. A few more animals. And then let me just go to graphic and see what it does for graphic. Okay, not bad. Now, the other cool thing that you can do similar to Leonardo AI is choose from an image. Like, let's just look at this iguana over here. And I'll hit try prompt. And it automatically shows me this prompt that it created. If I use try prompt, it's already going to have the pre-selected characteristics available. So I wonder if I change iguana to a different animal. Let's just say uh, a lion if it generates the same type of quality that it otherwise would have by leaving it as iguana. So, I mean, there you have it. That's pretty helpful. So, I like that. So, that's also going to be similar to Leonardo AI, whereas if you see an image that you like specifically, you can click on that specific image and then generate your own prompt based off of the characteristics in that image. So, I like that. Let's try that one more time to see if it can do the same thing. So, I'll go back over here to the main options, and I'll just go through a few of the selections and see if I can make something else. How about this teddy bear right here? Sleeping bear in nightgown and nightcap. Let me hit try prompt. So now I'll try the same thing. In the bottom left hand corner, you could see it says sleeping bear in nightgown and nightcap. Okay, let's just replace the word bear with a different animal. And let's just say uh, puppy. 
Let's, let's leave it there at puppy, and I'll hit generate, and hoping it continues with the same characteristics. Let's see. Okay, so now it has a puppy. Let's try one more thing. Now let's just try a kitten. Okay, now it generates a, a kitten for me with that same type prompt. Let me show you guys an even better prompt that we can use in Adobe Firefly. One of the next prompts we're going to use is this one right here. Here's a formula for Adobe Firefly, and then has a second request at the bottom where I then tell it to write five prompts. So, let's just go ahead and copy. Let's head back over to ChatGPT. And at the bottom, I'm going to paste that exact prompt. The prompt I told it was, here's a formula for a Adobe Firefly image prompt. Copy and paste it just like that. ChatGPT will understand that and its response is as such. Sure, I can help you generate image prompts using this formula. Here's a generic response to get started. Let's go back over to Airtable. The next step would be this request. Now come in here and I'll copy this request. And it says, now write five Adobe Firefly prompts using the above formula with the subject being, quote, topic. So, I'm going to come back over here to ChatGPT and I'll paste this. And before I hit enter, I'm going to replace the word topic in the brackets to an actual characteristic. Now write five Adobe Firefly prompts using the above formula with the subject being, let's just try cyberpunk. And now ChatGPT is going to provide prompts for us. So look at the first one. An image of sleek cyberpunk assassins. Number two, an image of grizzled cyberpunk detective. An image of a cyberpunk hacker. So let's just try the first one. Let me copy and paste this one. Let's go back over to Adobe Firefly and then just simply paste this prompt in the generator and then hit generate. Here we go. An image of sleek cyberpunk assassins infiltrating a high security security building lit by neon lights and flickering screens, detailed realistic HD trending on art station. There are my cyberpunk assassins. Let's see what happens if I select photo. Awesome. That's very good. That's cool. Let's go back over to ChatGPT and try one more. Ask it to give me five more and then it will. It will go continuing on the cyberpunk trend. So here we go. We're going to go with number two. I like number two, an image of a cyberpunk metropolis. Let's copy this one. Go back over to Firefly clear my style down here and then hit paste and content type let's just leave it selected as none and see what happens and i'll hit generate okay that one's not as good when i when i have it selected as none let me try photo and see what happens here okay now that's a little bit better now try one more thing i'm gonna select this bear here and i'm gonna see if it can save these type of styles and paste in this time my cyberpunk style now this bear already had a defaulted cyberpunk at the bottom characteristic but let me see if i can use the same prompt from chat gpt and see if it can make something better now this is really good that's cool i like this an image of a cyberpunk metropolis at night not bad and that's going to be just the content type none so that's pretty cool so like i said before i can go back over here to all these options and then click on like this b one i can see the styles that's already tagged and then I can just replace this prompt with my own and then hit generate. And then it should generate something similar to that content type, but with my own personal description, this one being cyberpunk. And that seems to work quite well. This is very similar to Leonardo AI. And I love how it gives you the visual aspect of it. So quite simply, like Leonardo AI, choose the type of image you already have in their options and whatever's trending on their homepage, select it, use that as the test prompt, and then just delete what the prompt says they had and then add your own and then it will just populate with something similar but with your own prompt instead. That's, that's very helpful. So let's just try something else. Let's go back over here to chat GPT. So I'm going to use this same exact formula up here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go ahead and start a new chat. Okay. Let's enter this one again. Now what I'll do is, is, is paste my request, but this time replace Cyberpunk with something else. And this time I'll replace it with Tropical Environment. And then here we go. Okay, here are five options for a tropical environment. An image of a beautiful tropical beach scene. Now let's try one of two things. Now let's go back to Adobe Firefly and I'm back on these pre-designed images and I'm just going to look for some sort of landscape that I like. Let's just say I like this one over here, this ancient tree. I'm going to delete these styles and then just paste my own. Oh, no, that's nice. That's nice. I like the way this one in outer space looks. So let's replace this with my tropical beach one and I'm going to hit generate and the style is going to be neon. It's not bad. I like that one as well. Let's try one more. Now let's try this one with a hot air balloon. All right. That's very nice too. I like that. Now let's just try one more prompt for our last thing. So now I'm going to come back over to my prompt generator and we're going to utilize this prompt right here. An image of adjective, subject, etc. It's similar to the first one we used, but just a little bit different. So let me come back over to chat GPT and paste this one here and it's going to come up with five different prompts. Here we go. So it says an image of adjective subject doing blah, blah, blah. All right. So let's just try number two, an image of a majestic humpback whale. I'm just going to go ahead and copy that one. Go back over to Adobe Firefly and just 
I like the way this squirrel looks. Let me just generate off of this. Paste the prompt into here and see if it can generate something similar, but this time using a majestic whale. Oh, would you look at that? And it did that. It did the same thing. I love that. So it replaced the squirrel with this majestic whale. That looks very nice. So let's go back and try something else. Okay, how about uh, this option? Now that's a nice tropical type of environment. That's what I should have used for my tropical beach one. Let me hit paste here for the majestic whale and see what it comes up with now. And then there we go. There is an image of a majestic humpback whale breaching the surface of a sunlit ocean surrounded by sparkling water droplets. Now, if that didn't just get it just about accurate, I don't know what else did. So Adobe Firefly combined with ChatGPT makes very hyper-realistic and very authentic images based off of your description. So in this case, it got it. It was very accurate with the description. So utilizing ChatGPT and Adobe Firefly in conjunction together really does produce some very beautiful looking images. Tell me what you guys think. What AI tools have you liked the best so far? But thank you so much for watching this video and please make sure you hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. I'm